Hi guys, James from DBG and welcome to another unboxing video. This time it is for the Bolt Action Africa Corps Starter Army. Um, this goes in line with the one I did a few weeks ago for the um, British Matilda tanks. Still the greatest tank ever. Ever, don't argue, I'm right. Um, so yeah, um, I'm tempted to paint these slightly differently so to fit in with two fronts. Um, purely because of the equipment that they are carrying, etc. Um, it does depend purely on the command figures. I might need to do a little bit of green stuffing just to um, sort that out, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, if they're wearing the kind of boots I think they are. Anyway, so without further ado, let's crack this box open and um, have a look at this goodness inside. I thought I could rip it there, but clearly not. There we go. There's the cellar panel. And as usual, we'll have a quick look at the box. Gives you the contents there. So you get 36 plastic infantry. One flak, 37-88mm gun, a medium machine gun, an 81mm mortar, a Panzer III, assembly instructions, etc, etc. We get some pictures there of the focus painted miniatures. We get a selection of stuff there that you can also get. And there is the flak. 88. Right, so without further ado, let's get this open. So, let's put that down. So, there we go, there's a Panzer three. There is the crew for the flat gun. There's the medium machine gun. There's the mortar, there's some damage markers for the Panzer III, there's the flat 88, there's the um, 36 dudes, Ooh. some bases. We've actually got pill bases in this for a change for the prone guys, which makes a welcome change. Cards, decals, etc. etc. And then we have the assembly instructions and painting guides, etc. etc. So right. don't need that. I won't fight with that anymore. There's bases, you've seen bases, you don't need to see bases. Right, so. Let's have a look at the, um, the decals. Now what I've noticed is you get some um, Akhtun Minen stuff there. There's also lots of Africa Corps collar tabs helmet decals and rank markings there so that's cool decal sheet for the flak 88 lots of aircraft again you've got helmet markings for luftwaffe here and ss that is the decal sheet for the panzer three which gives you lots of different Divisions and markings, including the Africa Corps and the SS and what have you. And then another one for the infantry. And then we have three Panzer three cars. We have the J for early war in the desert. We have the N, which is mainly used in the Africa, uh, not Africa, in the Eastern Front. 
but that's got these short 75 millimeter howitzer on it we've got the l and the m which is for later on towards the end of africa sicily and also eastern front and then we have another one for the flak 37. i do like these cards they work very similarly to the flames of war ones give you the points etc and then these special rules and what have you they have on the back which is very cool so now we have the instructions for the Africa Corps Infantry. Gives you some painted examples, some blurb to go with it, and standard War of Games fare with uh, numbered markings on the picture, not on the sprue, which I do find rather annoying, but can't be helped. There's lots of options there. You've got MG34s, you've got um, anti tank rifles. I think there's a light mortar there as well, which is very handy, especially if you're doing the early part of the war. There's instructions for the Panzer III. Panzer III is notorious for um, being a bit poo to put together. I've put together a couple of these. Um, it can be fiddly, especially the small parts here and here and um, some other bits, especially if you're putting the shirts on. Oral Games have yet to come up with a good way of putting on shirts on. Um, but luckily, if you're doing Africa, you don't need to worry about shirts on, because they didn't put it on until they got into the Eastern Front. And then we've got the assembly instructions for the FLAC 37. Um, again, these are a bit fiddly, especially this bit down here is a bit fiddly. I think getting you know, all this other stuff together. Seats is that it's not very clear where things go. And sometimes it's best just to leave a couple of bits off if you're going to struggle with them. When the model's put together, you can't see anyway, especially when the gun is in place. So it doesn't matter. And then we've got the uh, Color scheme for Africa Corps there. So we've got the infantry, we'll look at those properly later. Another base. Um, I've already done an unboxing video on the FLAC 88, so I'm not going to take that out of the packet. Again, same with the Panzer 3. Not going to do it. Um, Suffice to say, what I said about the instructions, it is not the best models that all the games have done, but it's still a very good representation of the Panzer III. So, here we go, here is the Africa Core Mortar. And I guarantee, yep, this I detest. After seeing other um, manufacturers doing a one-piece mould of a mortar in this scale. I don't think there's any reason that you need to have a two-piece mould of that, especially this one's got an arm attached, so that's going to put an extra bit of fiddle, fiddliness into it, which um, I didn't actually realise. Yeah, so there's the guy who's actually supporting the mortar. Well, this guy fires it. And as you can see, these guys all have rolled up sleeves and they have the mid-war ankle boots, which actually make these perfect for doing Italy or the Eastern Front. And I'm tempted to paint these guys up as the Eastern Front, but we'll um, cross that bridge. I just want to have a closer look at the um, crew for the Flak 88 and see what they look like. Yes, they're bare chested. Yes, they're wearing shorts. That doesn't actually matter because the Soviet summers were incredibly hot. 
and serving a large piece of artillery. I mean, the skulls are good. The skulls are very good. Yeah, they're, ser they're serving a large piece of artillery, like an 88 millimeter. You're going to need to strip off. And I know for a fact I have seen pictures of troops on the Eastern Front wearing shorts. Uh, these type of boots, I'm not so sure about. Um, but that's a little easily done. I can easily put some green stuff on and turn those into socks. But yeah, I mean, the forage caps and what have you, perfectly usable in the Eastern Front, because they had them. Yeah, so these guys may be going on to the Eastern Front, not Africa. And then we have the MG34, which is annoyingly into the flash. So standard two-piece tripod. Again, these are a bit fiddly, but I want you to use them. They're all right. There's the loader. There's the officer. Again, he is wearing desert boot and desert knee boots. A little bit of green stuff. I'll sort those out. From doing Eastern Front. Oh yeah. And there's the uh, there's the gunner. Again with forage cap, ankle boots and gaiters. So yeah, easily you can do the Eastern Front. Now we have six brews of infantry. So 36, there'll be six men on each brew. As you can see, six men each brew. They are very well molded, as you would expect from Mortal Games. Everyone is wearing ankle boots, which is good. There is a prone figure though, which I detest. I detest prone figures. They're more fiddly to store because they're normally the ones that have bits hanging off the edge of the base. Especially if you're using the anti-tank rifle. The MG34 should be fine. But yeah. So if we look at some of the other stuff going on, the slung rifles, different types of legs. Stick grenades. Yeah, there's clearly a mortar in here as well. MP40. Some of that loading their Mauser. Focus. Focus. You're not going to focus, are you? Go and focus. Here we go. Yeah. He's putting a clip of ammunition into his Mauser. Which is, uh, I do like those little ones. Yeah, there's plenty of detail on them. Mind you, all the games are good at doing those by now. They should be. Uh, yeah, so we've got, we've got binoculars, so you can make commanders, spotters, etc. Another MP40. There you go. There's the um, 50mm Stummel or Granatenwerfer. Literally means grenade thrower. And then we've got the, t the different heads. So we've got the early pith helmet style heads. Then we've got forage caps, the stalag helm, and peak hat for the officer. Again, in the Eastern Front, when especially during the advance on the dusty roads, they or they wore um, face coverings and goggles quite a lot so these can easily be done to represent the Eastern Front. So yeah, as I said there's 36 of those. So put that back. So you're not gonna focus are you? There we go. So there we go. That's what's in the body. This retails 
at £75. I picked it up um, a long time ago now, months ago, I think it was during lockdown, the first lockdown I should say, um, for about £55, so about £20 off, which I was very pleased about, which is why I bought it actually, um, planning on doing um, either Africa Core or Eastern Front, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, as usual guys, I hope you enjoyed this for a start. I hope I wasn't too boring as someone said in one of my previous videos in the comments section. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Anyway, do check the links in the description for our affiliates and sponsors, etc, etc, etc. Social media link and Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys next time.